Hello, welcome back to the witness. Um, I've just noticed that this is rather dangerous. So I'll bring it up in the next <laughs> health and safety meeting with Jonathan Bloom in the sky or Jonathan Blow. I can never remember <laughs> the developer's name. Anyway, this is not a blind run. We are going through a detailed walkthrough on what the meaning of and revealing all the secrets. Uh, now there's only one audio log on this quarry section. Uh, there's a lot of environmental puzzles. So we'll basically go back and talk about some of the stuff that we just went through on the last one as we just walk around the island and uh, notice uh, various things as well. Little idiosyncrasies and things that are placed in. I thought this was pretty cool like here. Um, this cloud, if you ever wondered, it's really smoke coming from the chimney, showing that the quarry is in action. Um, I just thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, okay, so let's uh, let's go back. So last time we uh, learnt about this uh, guy who was uh, uh, claimed to be the real realist, um, and he was basically saying that um, evolution is full of theories, and he 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 doesn't you know go against theories. He's more on experience, on uh, if you've ever had, you know, prayed to God and had God answer your prayer. You notice this fence is actually from there. Don't know if you've noticed that. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, and if you've ever had a mirac uh, miraculous experience or a vision or in near death experience or whatever, that's real to you. That that's something that's not, you know, that's not that's not dependent on. You know, some theory, some scientific theory, some scientific uh, guesswork based on what we think is logical. And to a lot of people that, you know, pour their heart out onto science and, and take, you know, uh, a, a ridiculous sort of leap into thinking that any scientific statement is, is immediately fact. Um, especially if somebody in a white coat tells you so. Then... <sighs> You know, that can, that can be very misleading, and, and and I'll try and explain it. See, a lot of people believe that evolution has been proven, and I guess if you go back to let's take for instance how life began, we we don't actually know, right? We science has guesses, but they don't actually know. Like the very first theory that actually took place was now if you actually lower this we're going to have our first environmental puzzle um like the first theory was spontaneous generation and actually i thought that was the way of doing it maybe i've got to go over here oh there we go pull that up right. Do I have to stand up? Don't even know how I'd do this one. Should I look at oh, okay, I wanna have to do it from up there, I think. Um until Louis Pasteur really proved that can't be the case. But that was the you know, best based on the evidence that they knew at the time. That seemed logical. And a lot of people thought that the, that was concrete, you know. Um, but it isn't. And now we, we know that's not to be the case. Um And then, you know, people began to... Where is this stupid thing? How do you get to this stupid thing? That's not the way I'm doing it. It's gotta be. Yeah, that can't be. There we go. Alright. That took a lot longer than it needed to be. Okay. Um. Now, if we actually move this to, oh, I think over here somewhere. I'll try it. Oh, try it there. No? Why not? Why 
aren't you moving? Ah, oh, okay. Alright, um, and then uh, the other evidence was primordial soup, but we now know that's also not the case. That was uh, kind of um, being disproven as not uh, legitimate anymore. So, you know, now people think, uh, the scientists think, the deep sea hydrothermal vents is probably the most logical answer. Again, based on what we you know, surmise, but it's still not exactly proven, and we have to keep that in mind when it comes to comes to science. That it's still a theory, um, and then you know, life just suddenly took off from that point on. And why is the sun? Uh, let's go this way. Ah, oh, because I haven't got that. Ah, oh, damn it. Sorry about this. <laughs> These are the two hardest environment puzzles to get. So, you know, that, that was the case. Um, again, from that point on, you got the Cambrian explosion. Um, and, and the only thing we do know, and it does seem logical, is that life began soon after the, uh, how do, what do they call it? They call it the, um, uh, the late heavy bombardment, uh, when meteorites and volcanic activity was on the earth. And they know life began after that because it was just, it was, just was too volatile, the, uh, everything. So, um, so that, that, Well, how does that work? Uh, uh, maybe it's something like that. That was a lucky guess. Will that work though? I thought that worked. Can I do it here? Oh, there we go. There we go. And we like to thank JB and Sky for producing a quarry and for producing. Well, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> She's using something. Anyway, let's get let's continue. I didn't know, know I can walk in the water. Well, what do I even? What do we need? Even that when we can just walk in the water. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go. I actually, did, I didn't even know there was seaweed here. <laughs> so, all this detail, and I, I didn't notice in, in my previous walkthrough. Uh, and I should show you all the uh, different things. Okay, so uh, basically, what, what you'll find interesting here um, is, and I met a man once that, <laughs> before I played the audio log, that said, you know, religion is rather personal, and I said, yes it is, <laughs> and we bid each other goodbye, and, and that was it, we didn't, yeah, it was a pretty awkward moment, and, you know, what the guy was saying is correct, you know, your personal search for God, or the meaning of life, or whatever the case may be, is, a, a, it's a personal venture, it's, a, it's your own personal, you know, um, experience, and I, I do understand that, but iron does sharpen iron, so, you know, by presenting questions to people, you know, it can make people, you know, it doesn't ruin their venture being personal. If I was to, you know, trying to influence someone with answers, then maybe, you know, that's not such the case. Because, again, that it, that's taken away that personal venture to someone. Uh, but by presenting you with merely questions, I haven't taken away your ownership of your venture being personal. So, you know, a lot of people say that, uh, you know, they don't like, you know, people knocking their doors and, and all sorts of things. And uh, they don't like people influencing other people about religion. And my question is, do you have a TV set in your house? 
<laughs> because your TV set does <laughs> influence you <laughs> much more than you know someone knocking on your door or you know giving you a couple of questions to think about. Your TV set, you know, is basically propaganda in uh, in its commercial marketing side of things and and the way it influences you. So you know, and people say, well, that doesn't do any harm. Well, yes, it does. It, you know, it can easily desensitize you. You can do all sorts of things. So, yeah, I, I don't understand people's, you know, idea about that. Um, so, anyway, uh, so basically if you look at these statues here, okay, so this statue is basically in this place here, and this statue is in that place there. And if you actually have a look at that, it's basically the evolution of man. So if you see the way he, you know, eventually gets up on all rights. And what's interesting about that is, is that blending with that all watchful eye, you know, uh, did God start everything by means of evolution? You know, maybe, maybe that's, that's also a theory that maybe, maybe God started evolution, started the process and, and that was behind that. Um, what's also interesting about that is you'll notice, oh, sorry, and oh by the way if you're after the codes there they are, you'll have to pause it, <laughs> there you go, um, you'll notice that there's two more, now these two are again over here, so basically to become an angel is the next step and to be with God. It, it, it is the next step and that that you know that that's still again in connection with that blending can can we blend Christianity or can we blend mysticism with this idea of science and, and again it follows that same theme throughout so I'm going to play the audio now um, there's two um, stuff in here as well so we'll just do that now Two environmental puzzles. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Where is that damn thing? Oh, there. What is divine in man is elusive and impalpable, and he is easily tempted to embody it in a concrete form a church, a country, a social system, a leader, so that he may realize it with less effort and serve it with more profit. Yet, the attempt to externalize the kingdom of heaven in a temporal shape must end in disaster. It cannot be created by charters or constitutions, nor established by arms. Those who seek for it alone will reach it together, and those who seek it in company will perish by themselves. Very day. Hugh Kingsman, 1944. Okay, so this guy, now I haven't read his book, um, and I'm only guessing, surmising, I've seen a lot of what he's written out of context, um, and I can't really put it in context as I haven't read the book myself. It's uh, a quote from The Poison Crown, and now he was a literalist, um, uh, uh, a literalist, uh, a, a literature writer and an author, a, w uh, a witty satir uh, satire, I guess. I'm just going to do this one while I've got a chance. Oops, sorry. Getting used to a new keyboard. And you just want to follow this one through. Now, I do like some of his quotes. Like, uh, one quote he, he made, he said, uh, <laughs> Friends are God's apologies. Uh, is God's way of apologising for relatives. That's <laughs> pretty funny. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, I would probably enjoy reading, you know, his book. And you can buy his book for, like, um, something like um, uh, $13. It's not much to, to buy his book. Um, and I think you would have a, you know, a bit of a laugh and a bit of a fun. But his, his statements are always, you know, very profound. And I can see what he's stating there is basically your 
your personal belief in God is not dependent on you know some charter or some some constitution or or uh, you know some law uh, war about who's got the better nation or whatever the case may be. Um, no divine thing can be above. Uh, but I don't know if he's trying to state that your if he's trying to state that. He's also trying to state, uh, because he states church in there, that your belief isn't based on a cardinal. Like, and unfortunately, people leave um, their their personal search for God based on what a cardinal says, or what a charter says, or what a constitution states. And if your belief system is based on that, then you're set up for disaster on the basis that you know it's not really your personal belief. Um, and to some degree science can be like that as well you know people set up their personal because some guy in a white coat just said you know this this is the way it is and people go okay you know or a scientist says well now we've established that fact and if you really look at the you know the inner workings of their you know proposal they haven't established it at all. They've just told you, oh, we've established it. No, you've actually made it quite a few leaps of judgments then. Uh, that's another environmental puzzle, and there's another one here. Um, okay, so that's basically... Ah, uh, and there's one, of course, down here. Forgot about that. Um, which is the elevator. If you haven't seen it on my previous walkthrough, my blind run, I got this one on my blind run. Um, how did I do that? How did I do that? How is that even? <laughs> how? Is... What the hell? Is... Uh Oh, just once. Okay, right. Sorry. And then you got to come out of here, right? Okay. And then you wait for the uh, ladder to get here. Um, and then we learn about uh, Ryun, Ryun in the last so shot. That uh, basically she uh, was a nun that was searching for the truth and she disfigured her face so that she could join a monastery and you know that that shows that you know she was a a, a, a true searcher in that, that she really wanted to learn the truth um but you know uh, it's a pretty intense or extreme measure of trying to learn the truth by you know uh, by joining a monastery disfiguring your face your beauty so that you're not a stumbling block for others um, that, that, that's a bit crazy and I guess, I guess the question I would, uh, you know, raise is, you know, if there was God, if there was a God, and, and that God was a God of love, would the God make it, the truth, easy to understand, or would he make it hard? And my question, therefore, would be, if you were a loving parent, again, would you make the laws, would you make the rules of your household would you make it the rules easy for your children to understand or would you make it hard and you see if you you know made it hard you wouldn't be a loving god or a loving father you, you, you would you know you'd be excruciating to your children on oh, that's the last guy there and um where so you know it seems logical that the truth should in effect be easy you should be able to understand it should just make sense should be logical and for a true searcher it shouldn't be hard to find because you know that, that that's evidently what god wants doesn't he like he would want you know pe uh, people that are truly searching for him um i'm not sure what's going on here it looks like people in a tree for some reason i don't know you, you make up your mind is that a leg i no one else is i just thought you know 
Like, uh, I don't know. I just feel like there's something going on there. And the reason why I feel that way is because if you look at this tree, this tree's got so many faces. It's, it's crazy. Oh, there's a face there. If you have a look. Uh, like, you can, can you see the face there? There's a nose, there's a ear, there's a... Yeah. Uh, and if you go around the tree, there's one there. Um, you can see different faces from all... all all sides. Uh, I think there's something like 13 or 12 faces. It, it, it's it, it's uh, quite crazy how many different faces there are in this in, in this tree um, from the different perspectives. And uh, I guess you know the tree being all wisdom and there's a little bit of a branch. There's still life in there. Um, I think uh, you know trees often represent wisdom. So again looking at the many sides of the various wisdoms uh, and the searching for you know trying to find a pattern in, in there being God so anyway that's all the secrets I could find on the quarry um, and I didn't really want to take you know what the guy was saying out of context when it came to uh, Hugh I haven't read his book and uh, but yes, your belief is a rather personal thing, but iron does sharpen iron, and um, personally, I don't see any problem with somebody, you know, giving you questions to think about. After all, doesn't that just make you a sharper person? Anyway, until next time, bye for now.